Hi everyone, Brie Firth here. Today I am creating a light-up slider card featuring Bubbles of Joy set from Lawn Fawn and sticker lights and copper tape from Chibitronics. Check out the Chibitronics Circuit Sticker Sketchbook for more information on how to create a light-up slider card and other fun designs. First, I stamped the bubble wand and the trail of bubbles along the center of the card. I used my Copic markers to color these images. I used RV14 to color the wand, and I'm using BG Quadruple Zero, BG01, RV13, and Y13 to color the bubbles. The large bubble towards the top of the card is where I'm going to be placing my battery holder and it's where I'm going to be placing a push here button. Next, I am using a piece of vellum and a pencil to trace the bubble outlines onto the card base for the placement of the sticker lights to create a trail of lights for the me slider mechanism. On the card base, I have already drawn the placement of the battery holder, as well as the lines to connect the slider mechanism along the fold. First, I am tracing the opening in the bubble wand onto the card base to start lining up the bubble trail of lights. Now, I am tracing the center of the vellum circles onto the card base to mark the placement of the sticker lights for the light trail. Now that I know where I'm going to be placing my sticker lights, it's time to build the positive and negative circuits. I am starting by creating the positive circuit, which is going to run down to the slider mechanism and create within the fold. For the slider mechanism to work, the positive copper tape will not connect to the sticker lights until it is pressed down along the fold. Now I'm creating the negative tract, which is going to be directly connected to the battery. After creating the circuit paths with a pencil, 
I'm going to go over those pencil lines with copper tape to create the positive and negative circuits. After placing the copper tape, I'm going to go around with my scoring tool to flatten out the copper tape onto the card base and to get a secure connection. Now that the copper tape is placed, I'm going to stick the white sticker lights in between the positive and negative circuits. I pre-made a battery holder based on previous tutorials on the Chibitronics website where I stuck three pieces of cardstock together to create the width. to account for the width of the battery. With this battery holder, you can slide the battery out and replace it easily. To finish the battery holder, I am wrapping the copper tape around the front and the back side of the top battery holder piece so that I can connect it to the negative circuit. Now I can place my final sticker light. Now, so now I slide the battery into the battery holder and then I can run my fingers along the circuit trail to create the lights to line up to light up one at a time within a sequence. Now that we're finished building the circuit, I'm going to go ahead and finish designing the card front. I'm using some Gina K Masking Magic paper, sticker paper, to cover the pre-colored bubbles so that I can ink blend onto the card front.
I'm going to use some Broken China Distress Oxide ink to ink blend a light blue sky background. Be careful that when you're ink blending that you don't peel the masking magic tape up when you're going over those areas. After I ink blended the entire background with Broken China Distress Oxide ink, I used plain water to create an ink resisting effect, and I used Mermaid Lagoon Distress ink to create an ink splattering effect to create some additional texture on the card front. After peeling up the masking magic paper, you can see that the bubbles were protected from all of the ink blending and the ink splattering. I placed some double thick foam tape on the card base to protect the circuit. Now I'm placing the card front on top of the card base. So you can see now, if when I run my finger along the light up mechanism, it creates the light sequence. Now I'm using some liquid adhesive to tape down the grass border that I created for along the bottom of the card. I used Mowed Lawn Distress Ink, as well as, as well as Pine Needles Distress Ink to add some ink, distressed ink color to the grassy border. I used the Lawn Fawn Push Here stamp set to create the Press Me and Arrow button that I stamped with Pigment Black Ink. This way the recipient knows to press on the big bubble and run the, their finger along the grassy border edge. I placed the mice as well as the other decorative items onto the card and then I also added a blow bubbles banner to finish off the card. And there you have it! It's a light up slider card featuring Chibitronics white sticker lights and copy, copper tape with Lawn Fawn blow bubbles set that reads when life gives you troubles, blow bubbles. Thank you for watching my video tutorial. Hope you come back soon for more crafty inspiration.